Thank you, Melanie. Also breaking a Spartanburg Elementary School was on lockdown this morning after a man who was shot actually came to the school for help. Yeah, the shooting happened right across from that school at an apartment complex across the street. And 7 News' Sophia Radebaugh explains the lockdown is, of course, now over, but the investigation continues. Yes, the Spartanburg police tell me when the victim was shot at Arbor Glen Apartments, he walked himself over to Jesse Boyd Elementary asking administrators for help. They called 911 and an EMS crew came and transported him to a local hospital. And now the suspect is here in custody at the detention center. While I'm getting ready, I hear boom. Dion Beatty had hardly been awake when she heard a loud sound that turned her day. My son, my son got shot. Upside down. The bullet came in, uh, came in my apartment that way. And hit here. Beatty says her son was shot outside their apartment around 9 a.m. She called 911 to get help. She says, She's starting to get several phone calls from here, like from around here, for the same thing. And that just made my heart drop. And she's telling me, don't go out the door. But the victim, desperate for help, walked himself over to Jesse Boyd Elementary right across the street. They immediately instituted their lockdown procedures. They rendered aid. Certainly EMS came and treated the individual who was transported to a local hospital. Police say the victim told them the shooter was his stepfather, Sammy Lee Ellis, Jr. Beatty says she is no longer with Ellis and that he had been stalking them. Police say the victim provided them with details about what he looks like and what he was wearing. One resident saying he helped with the search. When the person told him where to look, so I actually was the only person who told him where to look and they ended up finding him where I told him to look at. <laughs> about an hour later, police say they found the suspect under a breezeway at the apartment complex. Uh, he's currently in our custody. Uh, he'll be hopefully interviewed here in the next few minutes and we'll provide more details as those uh, become available. Yes, the Spartanburg Police Department says this is an ongoing shooting investigation. And after speaking with the mother, she did tell me her son is out of surgery and he's expected to be okay. Live in Spartanburg, Sophia Radeball, 7 News. Thank you, Sophia. Spartanburg District 7 says the school handled everything calmly and followed protocol, notifying parents as soon as the school went on lockdown.